insects called we were farmers. We lived on the farm. We knew what a watermelon was. We knew what a turnip and a tomato was. And that's how we learned our arithmetic. Now, I want to show you these things here. If you came to my school in 1882, you might see objects like this. Looking at you! Young man, what are you doing out there bowl there? Anyway, I'm going to put him in the car and make him sit with a dunce cap on his head. Dunce cap. Okay, look right here. There it is. See? Up there? If you were bad in my school, you had to wear that thing on your head while you sat on this thing called a uniped, which is one legged stool. You had to sit in the corner all day with that hat on your head. Now, dunce means dummy. Nobody wants to sit with a hat that says dummy all day in the corner, do they? No. Now, some teachers, they use this thing here called the ferula or the ferula. Either way, if you looked that up in the dictionary, and I hope you did, I bet no one did, it says an instrument used to punish children. <laughs> Teacher might come up to you and say, young lady, hold your hand out. And then she'd take this fairy, oh, which is nothing but a measuring stick, and go whack, whack, whack. Oh, that stung. Woo! Never get another peep out of her for the rest of the day, though. No siree. Now, some teachers, they use this hickory stick. I like this myself. You use it the same way, but you use it on a different part of the body. You don't Hi. smack hands. No, you don't waste time with the hands. You go outside, get a tree branch, you clean off all the leaves. You come back in and you say, young lady, bend over your desk. You see the end over there? And then you take that old hickory switch and you go, wham! She won't talk for another two weeks. <laughs> you now, want to one? I asked what they did today. I said, what do you do, Mr. Fogel? When the kids are not doing, he said, pink slip. I said, pink slip where? Do I have a slip on? What's a pink slip anyway? A piece of paper. We give them a piece of paper that says it isn't bad and we send it home. I said, that's different. If you came to my school in 1882, you'd see restrooms like this looking at you and they don't look at all like your restrooms and I know. I already told you that story. All you have is a bowl with some water in it, and you push a handle, and everything goes away. It's so nice. <laughs> we had these. They were called outhouses, and they were called that for two reasons. Number one, they're out, outside. Don't you go in there to change your clothes? Number two, too? they look like houses. Nope, we didn't go in there to change clothes. Nope. In fact, we never had to change clothes except at home. <laughs> Here they are. Middle of winter. You're in that schoolroom there with me, and you gotta go. Like David's gotta go here. Now, if, this, if David was at my school, he'd have to get on his boots, get on his leggings, get on his coat, get on his pants, get on his gloves, go walk, 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 walk to the woodshed. Nobody there. Walk, 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 walk to the outhouse. If he has to go bad, he'd probably run, wouldn't he? 